All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how I pack everything in and out of the woods. You know, and go through the pack. This is all the stuff that I carry in my pack going to the woods, but I'm gonna go through and show you how I get all of this crap inside of this bag right here. And then I have another bag that I use. I have a flap that goes on this that's strictly for just hauling meat out. You know, so depending on what I'm doing, I have a complete setup for everything. Now, to start off with, I, I use a, it's a Mystery Ranch Pop-Up 28. You know, and in my opinion, it's one of the best, especially for down here in the south where I'm at, you know, it's the best saddle hunting bag that, I, that I've used. I haven't used everything out there, so I can't say it's the best one on the market, but I can say it's the best bag that I've used. Now to start to start off with, we're gonna I gotta put my camera arm and the camera base inside of the bag. It goes inside of the main compartment here. I take the arm, slide down in here like that. And I just take the base and drop it down in front of the arm there. Then I just zip it up. And that's it. But that's all I worry about going inside of the main compartment. And here's just like miscellaneous stuff, like a thermosel and whatnot. Now, after I get the stuff put in, inside of the bag, everything that's going inside of the bag, I go ahead and get all that stuff tidied up. Now, I like to grab my two sticks that I use and my platform. I take if it, when I'm on the ground, it'll be laying down flat, so this will be a lot easier. But I just line these stakes in the platform up, run the top strap around them. Once I get this done, I will show you a little, a little closer up so you can have a better idea I put that top strap on, then I have these two bottom straps down here. I wrap around the bottom of them, snap them together right here, and pull them tight. I'm gonna set this down real quick so I can get it tight, so I can really show you how this works. All right, that's it. Do you see there? I got my two sticks and the platform on there. I pull these straps on here pretty tight and it holds it to the bag. And you, you can see there, it's not, it's not very wide. And at the moment, I'd say 12 pounds, 10 to 12 pounds, somewhere around there, it's not too bad. Which, like I said, I don't, I don't really go off, I can care less how much it weighs. As long as I got this bag right here, I don't care because this thing makes everything so much easier. All right, what to go next is my saddle. I don't like carrying or wearing the saddle in. So I normally just take my saddle, buckle them, the straps together. I leave my leg loops on there and they, they stay loose, you know, and so I can just grab it and just throw it over my sticks right there. And that's it. You know, and you can see, these kind of move around a little bit, but you know, over, over time, you can really get it figured out on wh where you need to put what and how you need to do this to get everything where it's not jingling and loud, which it's really not all that loud, to be honest. But no, that, This bag can carry a lot of weight. I think they rate it, I wanna say it's like 50 pounds. I'm not exactly sure. So I don't wanna misquote on the poundage. So then you just snap it in there, pull everything tight, and that's it. You know, and you can see there, it's not a, a very big package. And this is everything. 
And the camera that I have, that I got filming at the moment, it's got a, a small carabiner on the back of it, on the, the, like a little wrist strap thing. Whenever I'm walking in, I hook it to this little chest strap right here. And the camera normally just dangles right here on my side. I wanna get, I'm thinking about getting one of those, um, it's a little strap that goes on, it's a little clip that goes on here. And it's like a little holster. You can just snap the camera onto your shoulder. But that's it, you done. For carrying my gear in and out of the woods, this is what I use. And like I said, it don't weigh with the saddle and everything, maybe 15 pounds. You know, there's really not a whole lot of weight to it. And then when you pair it with this bag here, it just makes it unbelievable. Right, now, I took everything off of it. I'm not gonna pull everything out of the bag, but it has, this bag has snaps all the way around it. It has six snaps on it. And when you undo those snaps, this whole bag pulls off of the frame. Once I do that, and I, I shoot a deer, hog, whatever, I pull this bag off. Normally, I leave this stuff either in the truck or in the boat, wherever I'm, whatever I'm using to hunt out of at the time. But I, I go back to the boat so I can put all my gear in the boat or the truck, take this bag off, and this little flap right here replaces this bag. I can put it on there, it's got all the same straps and buckles. You buckle it on there, and these here is just some game bags that I got. These are, uh, I think it's called Black Ovis. I got it off of their website. Then some pretty good bags, um, which I hadn't used a whole bunch of bags, but I love these things. They're easy to clean. Just use some dish soap and the five gallon bucket, and they come out perfect. That same thing, I do the same thing with all this stuff with my backpack. You know, and if it, I get any blood on this thing, all I got to do is just dump it out, soak it in some water, and whatever kind of material this is they use, um, it literally, it, it pulls it out. It pulls all the blood out of it. But that's how I pack all my gear in the woods and pack out my gear. And then if I shoot anything, I have a way I can go in there and put it all on this frame and pack it out. Let's say I go up to like North Georgia or go up into South Carolina, somewhere towards the mountains and got some big hills I got to climb up and down. I won't make a trip back to the truck. I will leave this in the truck, put this in the bottom of my bag and I can loosen all these straps up right here and just use this bag right here as the flap. I don't like doing it because I try not to get all the blood on this. This, I soak up a lot of the blood, but for the most part, that's what I use to pack out any animal. If, depending on where I'm at and stuff like that. But let me get into the next bag that I use. This one here is the next, is the second bag. I use this if I know I'm gonna be doing like a sit on the ground hunt or just a spot and stalk or something like that, this bag is just big enough to where I can put any extra camera gear I need in it. I can put um, some water in it. Whatever I need, it's just big enough to put everything in it. But it is a sling bag. You know, you just throw it over your shoulder. But that's a, that's all it is, this little bag. I mean, there's really nothing to it. It's a real small bag, but it works good for quick hunts. If you know you ain't gonna be sitting nowhere and you just gonna be stalking around or when I go scouting and whatnot, this is what I use. Instead of using a big old bag, I just use something like this right here. Something easy I can throw over my shoulder and carry what gear I need at the time. Ah, right, well I think that's gonna do it for the, the bag video, you know, and I know I didn't go into like a big details on how I use this and how to put everything together. If you'd like to see a video on this bag, 
breaking it down, putting everything together and stuff like that. I mean, there's quite a few videos online about it, but I can make a video about it if y'all would like to see it. But these videos and these little four part series that I'm doing is I wanted to make everything as quick as possible and just an overview of what I use. You know, and so just a quick rundown, the Mystery Ranch Pop-Up 28, a little sling bag. You can get these off of eBay. Uh, I got this one off of Go Wild. And then that's it. I mean, that's the two bags I use. Hey, we appreciate y'all watching. Stay tuned. We'll catch you on the next video.